Now, a recent press conference was held in response to domestic violence issues. Alice Kim joins us with more. That's right, Mauricio. The recent tragedy at City College shed light in the face of the spike in domestic violence cases. For the first time since the murder of Deanna Gonzalez, city officials and the district attorney spoke on camera. One week after the murder of City College student Deanna Gonzalez, San Diego city officials announced plans to improve response to domestic violence in San Diego County. We learn from these cases. We make recommendations for change and work with the San Diego Domestic Violence Council to implement these changes. This multidisciplinary review team is critical because no victim should ever die in vain. A mother of a murder victim talked openly about her experience losing her only daughter to domestic violence that occurred in 2007. Uh, the DA department is an excellent department. I work with them uh, during the uh, preliminary hearing and they're excellent resource. Uh, there are some things that they cannot answer and I respect that. But this was not the case for the family of Deanna Gonzalez. A judge granted a restraining order against Gonzalez's estranged husband, Armando Perez, to keep him away from Deanna following an incident of kidnapping, assault, and rape. Though he was arrested for this, he was never charged due to insufficient evidence. At that time, we wanted to more, know more details about why, and you know, why was that not sufficient, you know, sufficient evidence, but, you know, at this point, I mean, in, in a way, it's like kind of late. The puzzling question that continues to arise is why Perez was never charged. Reporters press okay, district so attorney Bonnie Dumanis for answers. Um, I'm not going to answer specific uh, questions about this case. You and David, this is the last time I'm going to say it, and I would like you to be respectful. Okay? You weren't before, uh, and I appreciate this is a little bit better. What I would like you to remember, I know you have to ask, but I'm not going to say it anymore. I'm not going to talk about the specifics of this case, how Diana reacted, how anybody reacted, and, and what, what was going on in this case, because it's part of this case. Chief of County Probation Mac Jenkins explained the new pilot project to take active steps towards earlier intervention of domestic violence cases. We believe that with a strong collaborative effort, we can interrupt the cycle of violence. We can prevent repeat violence by working closely with offenders, the victims, and extended family members. The hope is that through Deanna's story and preventative steps discussed by city officials, this can help potential victims before it's too late. While Armando Perez, still at large, is set to be hiding in Tijuana, Bonnie Dumanis plans to meet with Deanna's family. Anyone who has information that may help bring justice to Deanna's case is urged to call Crime Stoppers at 888-580-8477. Mauricio, Claudia, it being Domestic Violence Month, it's just so unfortunate and ironic that this had to happen when it did. Thank you very much, Alice, for that story.